Well, yesterday we completed our first trip aboard the new boat Chehelion. We sailed from Newport in Brisbane up to Fraser Island. It was about a 100 nautical mile, 200 kilometers sail. And yeah, it was pretty cool. It was through the night. We left at about lunchtime in the bay, motored about three, four hours with zero wind, and then the wind started picking up. And it consistently blew 35, and the highest I saw was 43 knots. So I hadn't sailed the boat outside the bay before, so um, it was definitely a bit of a good test, but couldn't be more stoked on how the boat worked. Uh, Ilva wasn't super happy, it was quite rough at times, and um, yeah, the, you know, 40 knots of wind is blowing spray around, a lot of spray coming over the boat and noise, and you know, it's sort of scary, but it was fun, I loved it. Um, I just sent her below to go to sleep. I'm so happy with this boat, it's, it's amazing. I didn't, I didn't leave the cockpit once the whole trip, could do everything reefed, control the whole boat from the safety of the cockpit, um, it was really good. We stayed last night in this beautiful anchorage here, Gary's Anchorage is called. About midday we got here yesterday and just slept in the afternoon and hung out, beautiful calm place and just, yeah, now we're on holiday. The big jobs and all the boat work's done and now it's time to enjoy the boat. Good morning. We're anchored outside of beautiful Kingfisher Bay Resort. We're gonna take the dinghy into land and go for a bit of a wander. Maybe take the chance to have a shower at the resort facilities. But we have a little bump in the road. Vernon just came back from a test drive with the dinghy and said, I think I have a blocked jet in the carburetor, so I'm taking it apart. This time I've already used this outboard. It's a new procedure. Water in the fuel, never good. Must have been water in the petrol tank. So now I have to clean the jets out. We should be good then. When it's milky like that, petrol, it means there's water in there. Just put the asymmetric up. I've, I've never put a spinnaker up on a sailboat before. Amazing. So stoked, this boat is just flying. Fraser Island, Platypus Bay, and um, this awesome little freshwater creek here. Gonna go and have a bit of a swim, and haven't been in freshwater for four days, so have a bit of a bit of a shower at the same time. Look at this beach, though. It goes for about 50 kilometres each way. There is no one else here. So nice. Last year, Maurus from Indiana SUP was kind enough to provide a, a great inflatable stand-up paddle to have on the boat. It works so good because you just roll it up and throw it in the corner when you're not using it. It doesn't stay up on deck in, in the sun. And so it worked out really good. And this year, because I'm going to the Solomons, he asked if I would want to try one of their new um, inflatable surfboards. So Ilva's got it back here. She's actually going to try and use it as a 
stand up today so we can both paddle up this up this creek. It's a 710, it's pretty big like a mini mal and it folds up really small. So we're gonna give that a crack today anyway. Let's see how it goes. Freshwater creek and it sort of turns into this little lake at the edge of the ocean. The beach is about 30 meters that way, just behind the trees over there. Elba's cruising along on her makeshift kneeboard with a tied together, two tied together dinghy paddles. Thanks Indiana, these two boards are perfect, so good. Mm -hmm. 